Okay, we want to start with a 12 inch black jumper wire with the spade ends on it. Your start switch, you want those ends on the red and black wires. Leave the white and blue wires bare. You'll need a crimp cap and electrical tape. Remove the top cover. Remove this cover plate here. And both these capacitor covers. Next, we want to reach in here, pull the red wire off the start switch, disconnect the other end from this capacitor, and pull that out. Take your black wire, connect that black wire where that red wire used to be. Now feed the other end over to this start capacitor. On the other terminal of that start switch, pull the black wire off. Disconnect it from this capacitor as well. Pull that out. Connect your new black wire in its place. Disconnect your white wire. Cut the end off. We'll use that crimp cap to connect it to the white wire of our new switch. We connect the black wire from that switch along with this black wire and the red wire on the second terminal. On our white power in, which also has a white wire to the motor and a yellow wire, take that wire nut off. Run our blue wire in and connect it with those other wires. And make sure to wrap that connection with electrical tape. Before we put the covers back on, we want to test run the motor. Now we can put these covers back on. Make sure not to pinch the wires. This one's a little trickier. You want to start with the wires facing sideways. Put that capacitor in. Then we set the wires sideways on this and it sets on top of that capacitor. Run your white wire down alongside the capacitor so that the crimp doesn't get pinched. Then make sure you test it again.